What are you doing today, Gabriel? So uh, today we're gonna do a poor man's cam, and we're gonna swap the exhaust cam from another motor into the intake cam of this motor that I have now. And pretty much what it is is it opens the intake valves up a little bit longer, and uh, should get a little better idle and a little bit more power top end. So let's do that. Sweet. All right, guys. So there's a couple things you need to do to do this mod. So right here we have a exhaust cam gear. You see the hole that we drilled right here? This has to do with this diagram. If you got off uh, doyourselfmiata.com. This cam gear is pretty much the exhaust uh, notch pointing up, I guess. And then we drill a hole right here. So this dowel pin will fit on there. And what this is gonna do is offset the the cam so they're in the right time and so you don't fuck up your time. So <laughs> let's get to do that. Oh, we also have to cut this. Um, have to cut this off. This is for the cam angle sensor that's in the back. And then once we notch that, then we can just drop it in like that. We'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take everything apart and then let's get everything apart. We'll get back to you when the timing covers are off, the water pump pulley, and all that stuff is done. All right guys, so we got everything mostly taken apart. Um, all we gotta do is take off both cam gears, timing belt, and this little backing plate. And then once we do that, we can remove the intake cam. And then uh, once we remove the intake cam, we'll be able to lube up the other cam in that yellow towel that's right there, soaking in oil, getting ready. And then we're gonna put some assembly lube on it and then throw it back in and that should be it. And then put everything back together. All right, guys. So um, got everything taken apart. We're ready to take the cam gear out. Uh, first thing you gotta do is pull all these cam caps off. You gotta do it in a certain order. And then make sure when you take these out and um, place them wherever you're gonna place them, you put them in order. So where should I put them? Put them right here. Right here. Put them right here. You make sure these go in order. They have to be in the same exact spot same orientation if you look if you look closely look come here see how it has an arrow on top of the cam cap it's facing forward towards the engine and that's how you know which way to go and one more and we should be able to move the stock cam out So we do have a new valve cover gasket and new cam seals. Here's the stock cam, keep this just in case for later. Put that right there. And uh, here's our modified exhaust cam. Ready to put this, it's already oiled up. Just pop the bitch on right. That. We put the cam caps back on, put the new cam gear, put the new cam seal, we should be good to go. The new cam and new cam gear installed. Um, you got to put the timing belt back on, retime it, uh, top dead center, all that stuff. And then uh, after we're done with that, we're gonna put the valve cover on and should be good to go. Bolt everything back up. Hey okay, guys, so uh, got the cam back in. We got it timed again. Um, all we gotta do now is uh, put some RTV, put the valve cover on, have some uh, vacuum lines and stuff like that, and we'll be. I'm gonna start it up for you. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, do the first startup. See if we're actually professionals or not. We're not professionals. Oh, 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 oh.